Hey friends, it's time to get creative. We've got a new Project Home DIY. This box is a little bit different, it's pretty cute. It says, not responsible for addiction, create at your own risk. And we've got a fragile sticker on it. I hope they treated it kindly. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, I see a little picture here. No bird soars too high if he soars on his own wings. Do we have a planter holder and a little bird? Maybe, maybe the little birds. It looks like the little birds come with us. Ooh, we got no pots and plant pot stands and cute birds. So first paper out of things very well wrapped so far. We've got two stands, a smaller one and a more medium sized one. It comes with our hardware. So they are the type that just kind of think, fit together. Like they're perfectly fine just like this, but they did pre-drill the holes if you want to put some hardware in there and keep it extra sturdy. Um, I've got a bunch of these that I have not done that to. I think I have one that I put a little bit of wood glue in um, when my plant pot was pretty light. But as per usual, they are gorgeous real wood. So it would be perfect for leaving as is, sealing, staining, or painting. Really cute. Really easy to use. And more paper. More paper. Okay, so much paper. Oh, this is new. We actually got some new paint this time. We've got two chalky finish, one in vintage and one in yesteryear. This looks like it might be a kind of green tinged, toned gray and more of a true gray. I use a lot of sagey greens and baby pinks in my home. So I'm really excited to try those and see how they swatch out. In the pictures, it looks like it might be slightly more blue leaning. So we'll have to see. And then inside we have a wee box. I wonder what's in our wee box. Ta -da! Ta -da! I don't know where this is opening from. So we're just going to cut all of the tape real quick. And that side has staples, so I'm assuming it's not opening there. It's almost got it here. There we go. And here we are. Oop, I think I've got it upside down. I do. Oh, I need a this side up. I need a this side up somewhere. Let's get rid of our now defunct box. Oh my word, they're so small. I was wondering if this one was going to be more of a plaster set, but we actually got the figurines. Look at this little chubby songbird. Oh my word, he's so cute. You know what? Mother's Day is in like a week while I'm opening this. And I'm thinking I've just found the perfect gift. Look at their troubled little bodies. Okay, is it a gift for me or a gift for someone else? Because they are hootin' adorable. I love them. And then we also have little pots for our plant stands. So this is why we got our chalky finish paint. It's actually super easy to add a chalkyish kind of finish to paints in general, but it's nice to have it ready. The stand is a little big for it. Double check that it's not. Yeah, it's, it's totally equal. So. A little big boy, plenty of room to move around. So super cute, more of a modern than farmhouse, like typical, though our chunky birds really keep it nice that way. If you wanna change the colors, I think that would be really fun. And then we have our larger pot, head for scale. There is a drainage hold, just one in the center of both of them. And it fits in its stand quite well, indeed. So it is still a lot of finger space if you push it all the way over. So there's plenty of room on either side. If you wanted to add like 
um, wooden or ceramic beads around the outside if you wanted to attach some tassels. This is an unsealed um, plaster. Sounds nice. Um, so it might be a little bit thirsty for paint, but it also means that it will take stains and dips really, really well. So there's that. Oh, that is our box for this month. It wasn't super like, oh my goodness, a project I've never seen before, but it is something that I can definitely use and I'm excited to just add to my home. So I hope that you enjoyed yourself and I love you so much. Bye.